Hello and welcome to the 12th Excel tutorial from IT Army. Now while using Excel many times you will discover that you need to reuse the formula in different locations. So in this video we are going to talk about how to reuse the formula so let's get started. Okay so over here you can see that I have a kind of an invoice or stock whatever you call it. So we have a list uh, we have list of items we have price and we have quantity so here I want to calculate the total so I can say it's total the best practice to give the name to the each and every column so in this case the formula I need to enter over here I'll say equals and price multiplied by quantity so it's price times quantity and I press enter key right so I get over here the result as 80,000 now I want to have the same formula also over here so I just need to say equals again the same thing price multiplied by quantity and enter now you would say that it's quite tedious to enter the formula for each and every row now suppose if you have hundreds and thousands of records it would be quite difficult to enter manually for each and every record so what if can we perform the copy operation so if I copy this and paste now you will say that definitely but the value 80,000 will get copied over here right so let's try so if I perform control C copy and control V and you see now we are getting some different result now the beauty of these formulas are they always reference the formula so in this case when I created the formula, so what this formula is doing is it is taking the values from the left hand side from the two cells and multiplying them and putting over here. So same thing is happening over here. You can say the reference over here it was C2 multiplied by D2 and when I copied over it automatically got changed to C3 multiplied by D3. So this is the beauty of copying and pasting. But on the other hand if I let me do undo operation control Z and if I want to perform cut and paste then what would be the impact if I perform cut and if I paste over here or let's paste in the next line paste over here now in this case you're gonna see over here the value didn't change so if we double click you can see this is still pointing to the same original location so from here it is clear that when you perform the copy paste operation the reference gets updated but if I perform the cut and paste operation they still keep pointing to the same original locations so I'll perform undo okay now the other option is rather than performing the cut and paste operation I can just simply click from the edge and drag it let's drag it right hand side and you see it didn't got updated when I move here and it's still pointing to the same location even if I move it here it's pointing to the same location so from here you can understand that whenever you perform that drag move operation it still keeps pointing to the original location so let me put it back here okay now coming on to the the fill operation that I want to have the same formula being filled up for all the records so these records maybe have hundreds and thousands of records and we want to have the same formula applied so copying and pasting each and every record would be again quite tedious so what we can do is we can click on the fill handle and drag it down right so in this case also it gets copied the formula gets copied and you see the last reference it's pointing to the left two cells so this is working perfectly fine so this is one way performing the fill operation the other option is that you can select the first cell and select the last cell pressing shift key click on the last cell or use the down arrow key shift and down arrow key to select all the cells and then you fill it down and you remember we talked about previously we can fill it down from here fill down or I can use control D as the shortcut so when I press control D the formula gets copied and each and every cell is pointing to the left two cells right so this was the second option the third and the most easiest option is you simply double click on the fill handle right so this is the most easiest option because performing drag operation especially if you have hundreds of records uh, dragging would be quite tedious so in this case what we can do is we can simply double click on the fill handle and the formula gets copied over to all the records so you saw how to perform the total now suppose let's say we want to perform the tax calculation so I'll put over here that I want to have subtotal here and the formula for subtotal you remember we want to perform the summation of all these numbers so we can press alt equal to remember we can do it from here auto sum and the shortcut for auto sum is alter equals so I press alter key along with equals and I get the formula press enter key 
now suppose we want to calculate the tax and suppose we have sales tax that we want to calculate and sales tax is 5% of the total so what we want to do is equals whatever amount of sales you have the subtotal multiplied by 5% okay so press enter key and this is what we are getting as a sales tax now we want to calculate the total add the subtotal and the sales tax total and then we'll put it over here so it will be grand total let's just add this the width and now the grand total would be equals the subtotal plus the tax and enter so this is the final result so this is how we can work with formula and reuse those formulas so hope you like this video if you have any questions or comments please post in the comment section below and don't forget to subscribe see you in the next video in the next video we are going to talk about some paste options